Hey guys, this is Clinton Jeff and today we're checking out the upcoming Parlay Adidas Ultra 4D. Hashtag Team Early. This is the 2020 Parlay Adidas Ultra Boost but with a 4D midsole and damn does this look fire. Let's check them out. This is a kind of throwback to the 2015 Super Limited Parley Adidas Ultra Boost prototype. To commemorate the 5th anniversary of Parley's first Ultra Boost, Adidas dropped a 2020 remake of the sneaker this month in an Ultra Boost DNA version that looks pretty sweet. I mean, not as sweet as the 2015 version in my opinion. And I don't know why they took 5 years to make, but hey, at least it's finally here. But along with this, they're also releasing this brand new Ultra 4D silhouette in August with the Parley Adidas Ultra 4D. It's everything you loved about the Ultra Boost upper but now with a 4D midsole. That's pretty much the entire review there. In case you haven't heard about this partnership before, it's a collaboration between Adidas and Parley. Parley for the Oceans is a group that is awesome because they collect ocean plastics to clean up the oceans and try to use that trash to create something usable. Way to be sustainable. So what Adidas does is they work with Parley to take that plastic trash, break it down and spin it to create a yarn that they can use on their sneakers and clothing. Honestly, I've always loved this partnership. I just love what Adidas and Parley is doing here. One thing that did bum me out a little was that the shoe comes in the usual black 4D Adidas box. So there's no special packaging here unfortunately which is kind of a bummer. I was really hoping that they'd use the same kind of recycled packaging as they did for the 2015 friends and family version which is really cool and even use a water-based ink. Coming to the shoe itself, the 4D version only comes in this black colorway so far, which you gotta admit looks really, really good. The one piece upper is covered in these thin green zigzag stripes, which is actually a stitching detail, similar to what has been used on every pair of Adidas Parley shoes so far. These stripes are called Blue Spirit and are made from the yarn that is made out of Parley's signature recycled plastics. And this blue stitching goes from the toe box all the way back to the heel. I love the way that the stripes rise and fall like waves in the ocean, which looks pretty cool, especially especially around the midfoot area. I couldn't really find too much information on these, but it kind of looks like the recycled plastics are only used in those stripes, and that's pretty much it. The black knit seems to be your standard Adidas prime knit material, because it definitely feels just like standard prime knit. Moving on, slightly hidden under these green lines in a really subtle way is the Adidas three stripes on the midfoot area on both sides of the shoe. I love that you don't really see them unless the light hits it at the right angle. It's just so well done with a tiny bit of sheen to them as well. And then moving upwards, you have this really special lacing system. Now I I say special because remember this is a one piece upper so it's not a separate tongue here instead it looks like that black knit is actually a panel that the green stripes are stitched into that wraps around the entire upper of the shoe so it's kind of a dual layer upper here and you can see the edges of that panel embroidered into the upper this black knit material has these tiny lace loops which has the lacing system going through it but it's also kind of sandwiched between the dual layers so yeah it's basically your usual ultra boost upper here but with this added layer on top so while it does look pretty cool, it feels just like any other Ultra Boost upper when you're wearing these, which is definitely a good thing. One thing about the flat black laces here though is that they seem to be really long, which kind of spoils the look of the shoe in my opinion. So you're gonna have to be a little creative with how you lace these up to hide them. Apart from that, moving upwards, there's the Adidas Three Stripes Performance logo embroidered into the top of the tongue. And then coming to the inside of the shoe, you have the usual super comfortable Ultra Boost padded sock liner, which is in black. If you've ever worn a pair of Ultra Boosts, you know how comfortable the plush padding is here and then there's the black insole with the ultra 4d branding on the left side and the adidas and parley branding on the right side moving on coming to the heel of the shoe you'll see more of that green stitching that goes around to the back it looks like there's an internal heel counter here or maybe just support inserts or maybe it's just an external heel counter that's covered by that black knit on top whatever it is you do get a good amount of support in the heel section here just like any other pair of ultra boost apart from that there's just the usual ultra boost upper pull tab kind of thing at the back of the shoe and that's about it. So yeah, pretty much your usual Ultra Boost upper but with a Parley edition. But let's move on to the main attraction of the shoe apart from that Parley collab. That entire gorgeous upper sits on this black 
4D midsole. Now we've seen 4D midsoles for a while now, so I'm not gonna go into too much detail about it. I have a separate video on 4D that I'll link to in the description below, just in case you wanna find out more about Adidas 4D midsoles. But just to give you the gist of it, this 4D midsole is 3D printed from a liquid polymer that uses oxygen, lasers, light, and heat to harden it up before it's pulled out of a liquid vat. I know it sounds crazy, but it's true. The result is this cool lattice structure that you see. It's a pretty cool concept and it definitely looks really unique. I almost always get asked about that midsole whenever I wear these out. The first thing I noticed about these shoes when I took them out of the box is that the 4D midsoles here seem to be exactly the same as the recent Adidas 4D Run 1.0 shoes. Those shoes were Adidas least expensive 4D shoes so far, but they also had the softest, most comfortable version of the 4D cushioning tech so far. But I'll talk more about how that 4D midsole feels later on. For example, when you put these two up against the Alpha Edge and the ZX1000 4D, you can see that little evolution in the 4D midsole. I gotta admit, I love how Adidas is trying out more colors for the 4D midsoles. The full black looks so much better than the usual light green tint that you usually see with most 4D Adidas shoes. And the shade of black here really does make that midsole look really visually understated, in spite of its rather intricate and otherwise pretty aggressive texture. Now, just to be clear, the reason why these are called the Ultra 4D and not the Ultra Boost 4D is because there's no boost cushioning in these shoes. It's all just that 4D midsole, just with the same upper as the Ultra Boost. Obviously, we'll see more GR versions of the Ultra 4D coming along soon, but it seems like Adidas decided to kick off the new silhouette with this Parley collab. And then moving downwards, you have this opaque black stretch web rubber outsole that we've seen on earlier 4D shoes. Admittedly, it is really weird that they didn't use Continental Rubber here. The Ultra Boost and Continental Rubber have been so closely associated for so many years now, so it's strange to see Adidas not use the same rubber on the outsole here, especially when the Boost version of the shoe does have that Continental Rubber outsole. But hey, maybe it was to save on cost because these are pretty expensive shoes already. So yeah, that's about it for design. Coming to sizing and fit, I do feel like these fit like any other pair of Ultra Boosts, except for one major difference, they're definitely a bit more snug. It kind of feels closer to the sizing of the Ultra Boost 1.0s that had that more rigid knit structure. I think this is because of the green stitching around that doesn't allow the prime knit to stretch out too much. So it's more of a kind of rigid structure around the knit. I mean, it's not too bad or anything. It's just different and something to keep in mind if you're used to wearing Ultra Boost. It still feels like an Ultra Boost upper, which is by far one of the most comfortable shoes around. So that being said, I would go true to size here if you have narrow feet. But if you have wide feet like I do, I would definitely recommend going up half a size or up even a full size. Like I wear UK 11 Ultra Boost, but I went up to a UK 12 here just because I didn't want too snug a fit. In case you're worried about how they fit, you can head on over to an Adidas store around and try on a pair of Ultra Boost 20, which is a similar type of fit just to give you an idea of how snug these are. But remember the upper here isn't as stretchy as the one on the Ultra Boost 20. In terms of comfort, if you've tried on a pair of 4D shoes before, you'll probably know how it is a much firmer ride than the bouncy plush feeling of Adidas Boost or even Nike's React foam cushioning. The 4D midsole here has a more solid feel by comparison. It's not as reactive or responsive as Boost, but at the same time, they're more more softer than the flat ride you get on a pair of Jordan 1s for that matter. Also, like I mentioned earlier, these seem to be the softest 4D midsoles so far. So it looks like Adidas is actually changing up the liquid polymer material depending on the shoe. The 4D used here is definitely softer than the one on the Alpha Edge or even the ZX1000. It's still a firm ride, but it's definitely more flexible with a more pillow-like cushioning and even a little bit more springy than before, which coupled with the upper means that this is a really comfortable shoe, but of course, not as comfortable as the Boost version. All right guys, with all of that out of the way, let's take a look at the Parlay Adidas Ultra 4D on feet. Honestly, I think that these are the best looking shoes that Adidas has dropped in a while. I just love everything about this shoe. I think I'll probably end up wearing the Boost version more often though, just because it's just so much more comfortable. But when it comes to style, you have to admit that futuristic 4D midsole coupled with that low key stylish upper, it just looks so freaking awesome. All right guys, so that's what I think about the Parley Adidas Ultra 4D. They'll be dropping globally August 4th. So I'm interested to know what you think about these shoes. Do you think there's any chance that Ultra 4D is gonna be as hyped up as Ultra Boost back in the day? 
day. And are you guys thinking about picking up a pair of these? Let me know right in the comment section below. Of course, if you want to see more photos of the Parley Ultra 4D, you can check them out on my Instagram and maybe give me a follow at Clinton Jeff. And hey, if you thought this video was helpful and you want to support the channel, don't forget to hit the like button right below and maybe subscribe because that would be massively appreciated. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.